action is obviously well off the coast. We've been talking about Hurricane Henri, still a minimal hurricane at this point with maximum sustains, uh, sustained winds of 75 miles an hour. But it does have the potential for a little bit of strengthening as it moves to the north towards the eastern tip of Long Island by sometime later on tomorrow. Here are the stats on Henri, located at 38.6 north and 71.0 west moving to the north at a pretty good clip as it gets close to land. We expect it to slow down just a little bit and uh, eventually taking more of a northwesterly turn here because there's an upper level low back to the west of the storm and a ridge of high pressure to the east northeast. That's going to keep it drifting a little bit more towards the left. And here's the forecast track from the National Hurricane Center again brings it on shore. Some question as to whether it will actually cross Long Island or head just to the east. But regardless, uh, southern New England looking for a hit sometime later tomorrow evening. It weakens to a tropical storm and then eventually a tropical depression tracking west of the Boston area here uh, during the day on Monday and then zipping off to the east with the upper level west blowing it in that direction. In terms of potential rainfall, look at this. We could be seeing six to eight inches anywhere where you see the red and the darker red indicating areas of eight to ten inches here inland across Connecticut, southeastern New York, maybe down into the Catskills and even into parts of Long Island. So there's going to be a lot of rain here and very strong hurricane force wind gusts across much of southern New England tomorrow night into Monday. A little bit closer to home, we're just looking at a high risk of rip currents because of the higher winds, of course, going to the north, just blowing the water back southward, and that's going to create some of these rip currents along the Maryland and Virginia coast right on through tomorrow and maybe Monday as well.